McMillan. Thank you very much, President Officer. President Officer, first of all, I'm pleased to be speaking in this debate, but I uh, also want to start off just by highlighting a couple of aspects regarding the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee, of the a committee which I chair. Uh, now, to be clear to the Chamber, I'm not speaking on behalf of the committee today, but I just want to uh, highlight a couple of aspects that we did. Uh, certainly, the committee welcomed three Scottish Government amendments in the Bill at Stage 2. The amendments to powers in Sections 18, 24 and 35 changed the parliamentary procedure uh, in each case from negative to affirmative. And while the committee was content with the powers in principle during its Stage 1 scrutiny, it is always very conscious of the need to strike a balance between the use of Parliament time and also the appropriate level of scrutiny. And for each of these powers, the committee considered that the enhanced scrutiny of the affirmative procedure was the most appropriate. And given that the committee can sometimes challenge the Scottish Government's approach to delegated powers and bills, it is right that we also highlight times when the Government responds positively to the committee's recommendations. And I think this touches upon the point that Maggie Chapman uh, just highlighted uh, regarding the, this particular piece of legislation. Today isn't the end uh, of, uh, of uh, scrutinising uh, this particular legislation. Uh, as Maggie Chapman indicated in terms of the future secondary legislation that will come forward uh, in the future. So Parliament scrutiny does not end today. There will be more parliamentary scrutiny uh, as, uh, as time goes on. On the policy matters of the Bill, I am pleased that reducing the negative impact of fireworks and pyrotechnics in communities across Scotland is at the heart of this Bill. Many people enjoy fireworks, whether it is Guy Fawkes displays or, or they are part of a festival of performance or family celebration. But we do have to legislate in a way that does not prohibit people from enjoying these things. We will take into account the harmful impact that the loud noise uh, can have on pets, wildlife and people who have sensory issues, including veterans. And the Bill is also an important step towards reducing the burden on emergency services and preparing for and responding to firework-related incidents. And data from Police Scotland indicates that around 900 firework-related incidents were reported in the 2019-20 firework period, and there is no clear evidence that the number of firework-related incidents reported to the police is changing. And for the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service, 342 incidents were identified with fireworks as a contributing factor between 2009-10 and also 2019-20, with around half of these incidents occurring on the days around Bonfire Night. And these incidents, uh, I'm sorry, Mr. Green, uh, and these incidents were more concentrated in more deprived areas. And I have seen that in my own constituency, uh, where police, uh, a few years ago, the police actually went to uh, one part uh, of Greenock, uh, and the riot police were actually there in that particular evening. And it was horrendous to see the scenes that took place that night. So, I also, it is clear then that there are considerable financial costs and resource implications for Police Scotland and the Scottish Fire and Rescue Service to plan and prepare for the 5th of November and the period leading up to it each year. There is also an impact on the NHS and ambulance service, as common fireworks-related injuries affect hands and heads, as already heard, uh, with mortars and rockets responsible for the majority of serious eye and hand injuries. These often require that specialist treatment, surgical intervention, and can sometimes, as we know, be fatal. Fireworks can also pollute the air with gases, particles and other elements that are potentially harmful to human health and the environment. Another reason why this bill is so important. Saying also, Tougher action on the sale and use of fireworks and tackling the misuse of pyrotechnics has clear public support. I know that from people who have contacted me about this bill. I know this bill will be supported in my constituency. I believe this bill will be welcomed by many constituents across the country, particularly those who are veterans, have sensory issues or live with someone who has sensory issues, and also pet owners, as others have, discussed, have highlighted. So with that, I will be pleased to be voting for this legislation tonight. Thank you.